Hive 1 Trio 3 here, and we'll go back to our playthrough on Spyro 3 HD. Last time we entered Seashell Shore, and this time we are going to be entering this hot air balloon to go to the first boss. Now, by the way, the reason that the characters are gone is because I accidentally realized my mic wasn't in when I f first started to record this, so I had to redo it. Also, there was a cutscene you're probably not going to be able to see. Basically, the sorceress was mad at the other, you know, the rabbit girl for not topping Spyro, so the rabbit girl turns one of her Rhinox into a monster, essentially. Now Spyro has to fight it, so anyways, let's go to that monster. Well, was, I guess his name's Buzz. Everybody needs that. That's when the cutscene would have played before that, but then now we're here and. When I heard the sorceress was planning to ambush you, I got here as fast as I could. No worries though. This pussy green toad will be no match for the two of us. Alright, here we go. Okay, that was bad. I'm sorry. Oh, I forgot you could do that. I don't know why. Sorry, it's been a while since I played this, so... I can't believe I got hit. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm really sure he's giving me the sheep, but whatever. I'll take him. Got him. And here we are, Midday Gardens. Okay, so back at Sunrise Spring in the homeworld, after you beat Buzz's dungeon, you will unlock the first Sparks level. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. I'll explain the controls once you do it. I found an egg, but only Sparks will be able to reach it. There's a small hole that leads to a crawdad farm. I can take him there if he's ready. Yep. Hello, Sparks. Before you take on those nasty crawdads, I should There's a circle button to shoot them. There's a circle button to shoot. Alright, yeah, we just head to here. 
quickly by pressing the charge button, like Spyro. Use your... Oh, okay, I see. Now for the hard part. Being a maneuverable dragonfly, you can oh, hold down the. You can strength by holding down the L1 and R1 buttons, and then simply just firing wherever you want to go, depending on which direction you started in. They'll stay in that direction no matter where you move. On your travels, you'll notice butterflies that give you health, just like in the dragon world. Just use the X button to use the power up. You'll be able to deal with these guys much faster if you use a. Uh, okay, apparently one hit kills you. Those butterflies will heal you, as always. There we go. Found a red key. There's a lock that door. Oh crap, I didn't see them. Open this up. Now this is the boss battle, so... Just keep dodging left and right, and you should easily be able to beat this boss. It's not too difficult. Really, it isn't actually at all. As long as you're moving left to right. Uh, so you just... You know, it can take a while. You know what? Let's do this. Gotcha. We saved Nora. See if I got all the gems. Click the self because why not? 
Oh man, I missed some. Oh well. Nice work, Sparks. You've beaten the Crawdad King and found the lost egg. Not only that, but some of the dragon magic seems to have rubbed off on you. Now you can pick up gems when they're even further away from Spyro. Nice. You can still point to gems. Like, I think you could always point to gems anyway, but... I mean, you do get a power-up later. I don't know if they replaced it with something else. That normally, you would get a power-up that would allow you to point to gems, but... Alright, guys. That's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, drop a like down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And also, don't forget to hit the bell. That way you receive a notification for when our videos come out. That way we can see you guys next time.